Hi, this is the Fairy Wolf, the 42nd Dynasty here, back for another video. Today I am doing the aftermath of the Fairy's Procession. And before we begin, I just want to wish a happy Easter to you all, as it's now Easter week, and happy Passover if you were celebrating that as well. And also any other religious festivals that you might have been partaking in, I hope you enjoyed them all. Anyway, the procession um, was on Saturday, and I have done some coverage of this um, in past videos, so I think two weeks ago I did it. But um, it, this was the list in order of um, when they came out. They basically went out in chronological order of their reign. So uh, I'll just show these very quickly to you. Uh, if you Feel free to pause the video if you want to see. But this is the um, uh, the order they went out in. Uh, different, different spelling for some of them, but um, this is how I spell them. So yeah, there you go. Now, and, th and that's um, one of the cars. That one for Amenhotep II. Now, in the film, it was very cinematic and it was very over the top. It must have cost millions. But in the film, um, that of course shows all these. The these are the pharaohs themselves. Here you go. But they showed um, pictures of the sarcophagi supposedly inside the cars. They were armored cars, uh, by the way, the, um, and reinforced, and uh, also the streets of Cairo were repaved for the event. Very posh. Um, but these two sarcophagi, uh, I will come back to later. They are of Tutmos the First on the left, or the unknown man labeled as Tutmos the First, and also Amenhotep the First, or Amenhotep the First on the right. And then below we've got Thomas the third and Ramses the second in the same order. Now, um, this is a sort of very small conspiracy th conspiracy theory of mine, because I don't think that the sarcophagi were transported with the cars. I think they were at the museum before, and I do have evidence to back this up. But I think it was just the um, mummies that were in it. Uh, they were from, filled with. They were in nitrogen-filled boxes, I believe, and um, these boxes, or I believe pictures of these boxes, appears on social media. And there they are. So um, the um, these ones, these three photographs, were actually posted by the um, National Museum of Egyptian Civilizations Facebook accounts, and they have since been taken down. But they've, um, but I have found them on Instagram as well. Link in the description. Um, but I think that those are the pharaohs, the mummies, and um, in, in the nitrogen filled boxes. And then they were put in the back of the cars and transported seven kilometers to the new museum. And um, going back to the Skoff guy, um, they actually um, released a video as a sort of prelude to the parade, which was this. Uh, they will be displayed right here, where they will be preserved, maintaining their sacredness and worth. And as you can see in the background, there are sarcophagi. Uh, in particular, Ram, sorry, in particular, Tutmos the first and Amenhotep the first. Isn't that weird? But um, I have heard that, um, although, although this is a good event and the, it was very cinematic, if you missed it, please um, watch it in, through the link in the description. Um, but um, in the museum, the museum will open on the 18th of, April, of April, yeah, uh, this year. So not too long to wait. And um, I believe that the royal mummies will be preserved, well, well, displayed rather, with sheets covering their faces. And um, I, I don't know, I think this is a bit of a shame, really, because I think a lot of people go to see their face. I beg your pardon, I cut out. Anyway, yeah, I think a lot of people go to pay their respects by actually going to see their faces, and um, I think it would be a bit of a shame if their faces weren't actually seen. Um, but it, it's still good that they're on display, but um, I also think that um, Egyptian government, if you are watching, please take notes, but I think that um, if they are going to be displayed with um, uh, cloths or sheets over their faces. I think that there should be a pamphlet or a um, accompanying book which um, has them, uh, which has um, up-to-date color, high-quality pictures of them, 
Um, I, I would certainly buy one of those. Um, um, plus technical aspects, so height and um, age at death and um, uh, what they think was, th how they think they died and things like that. So I think they'll all be very interesting. It sort of makes them a little bit, little bit more human. I know they're gods, but um, well, they pet out again. I'm sorry, but yeah, they were worshipped as gods. But I think that um, they ought to. Uh, I, I I think having a book with all these aspects will make them a little bit more human. If that makes sense, a little bit more relatable. Um, but um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Yeah, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe for more videos, and also like me on Facebook for more uh, updates. I don't do updates that often, but um, when I do, they tend to be things that I come across. But um, yeah, thank you very much for doing all that, and I shall hope to see you hopefully again fairly soon ish. Okay, yeah, thank you.